Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thanks for stopping by. I hope that you'll consider subscribing. Um, in the description box below the video, I do have all of my social media linked for you. I would love it if you would take a look there and follow me over there as well. And for those of you who are canners, I do have a Facebook group, Canning with Carolyn Friends. We are having a ton of fun over there and we would love for you to join us if you are a canner or if you are uh, wondering about canning, go ahead and stop by, pop on over there and take a look at what we have going on. We have a ton of fun in there, lots of sweet people over there sharing all of their canning adventures and great advice. So we would love to have you join us. So today is another video that I've promised to you guys. Uh, last week-ish, I think it was about last week, maybe the week before uh, I did the praline syrup for you guys this was from the um, ball blue book of canning and I also put in my title that it was pecan pie in a jar and you guys have been asking and asking me to do a video on making a pecan pie out of the praline syrup that we canned up so that is what we're gonna do today I do my best to keep my promises um, so as I've looked at different recipes and kind of thought about how this recipe was put together. I tried to come up with a good method for using this for pecan pie. I think I've cracked the code so that you can kind of adjust it to um, how much pie that you want to make. So today I'm going to be using my um, Emil Henry plate. It's a deep dish pie plate and that's what I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to be making a deep deep dish pie, but if you have a smaller family and you don't want that much pie, you could use the traditional, just regular nine inch pie plate. And if you are empty nesters, like my husband and I are, you may not want a large pie. And if you have one of these little guys, we love these. These are six inch pie plates that I purchased from Amazon and they work great for two people. So, um, this recipe we're going to adjust to those three sizes so today for you guys because i know we have thanksgiving coming up and we're going to be cooking for more people hopefully <laughs> who knows in light of current circumstances how all that's going to pan out but hopefully you will be able to have people in your home your family and friends and enjoy them for thanksgiving so i'm going to do the deep dish version so the easiest method for remembering how to do this is for every jar well, pecan pie is pretty simple in and of itself. It's sugar, corn syrup usually, um, vanilla, butter, and pecans, pretty much. Some people do some different variations on that, but we already have most of that in our jar, which is why I titled this pecan pie in a jar. We already have our sugar, our syrup, the vanilla, and some pecans. So we're pretty good to go. All we're gonna need to add are some eggs and some butter. So to keep the math simple, for a deep dish pie, I am going to be using three half pint jars. Now, Ball did not give us any instructions for canning in larger amounts. I wish they had, but they didn't. So we are, if you wanna be safe, um, we're stuck with the half pint jelly jars, which are, are eight ounce jars. So for a large, the larger pie, the deep dish pie, I'm gonna be using three of these. If you want to do the smaller nine inch pie, I would use two. And if you wanna do the baby pie, I would use one. And for every half pint jar, we're going to add one egg and one tablespoon of melted butter. And we pretty much have everything else in there. I have set aside some extra pecans. Uh, the recipe for this uh, praline syrup was a little light on the pecans um, for pecan pie if you like lots of pecans so when we mix all of this together you are certainly welcome to add more pecans if you want to you could add more vanilla um, you could even adjust the amount of your butter some people like lots of butter in their pecan pie but i thought to keep it simple and to give you guidance for kind of tailoring this to how much pie that you want to make. It's gonna be one jar, one egg, 
and one tablespoon of butter and we have pretty much everything else inside of our jar so that's where I'm going with this today so I'm going to um, bring you in close and show you how I'm going to mix it together um, I will also leave information in the description box below on the crust my favorite pie crust that I'm using I didn't include it in the video because I have it several times on my channel so I will also link um, my homemade chicken pot pie video for you I do have a uh, pie crust recipe in there and I also have a pie crust recipe in my homemade apple pie video so you can check those out I go into great detail on how to make pie crust in both of those videos so I didn't see the need to do that here so I've started with my I've already rolled out my crust it is ready to go and I have all my ingredients out so I'm gonna bring you in close and we're gonna get started so I did fail to mention I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start with our eggs. I told you I'm using three eggs, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put those in our bowl and we're going to whisk those together. We want to use beaten eggs. Your uh, pecan pie always uses beaten eggs, so we want to start with that. No matter what recipe you're using, it always calls for beaten eggs. And then to that, we are going to add our three jars of praline syrup. And then just give that a good stir. I'm gonna get all of our eggs nice and incorporated into our filling. And then I'm going to mix in three tablespoons of melted and cooled butter. You don't want to use hot butter if you use hot melted butter, you run the risk of scrambling your eggs, and we certainly do not want that. And then you can kind of take a look at how many pecans, pecans you have in your filling and decide if you want more of them. I think I'm going to add about another half a cup or so. Make our filling nice and crunchy. And then just give that a stir. And I think that that looks pretty good. So just use your own discretion what you like. If you like a lot of nuts in your pie, by all means, have at it. Use lots of nuts. So, okay. So now the hard part's done. It wasn't very hard, right? So now we're just going to pour this. In our pie crust and then I like to just give it a little bit of a zhuzh a little stir make sure all of my nuts are evenly distributed and our pie is ready to go into the oven I'm going to pop it into my preheated 350 degree oven it's going to take about an hour for it to bake and um, once we get close I will bring you back okay guys just a couple of things about baking pie just general um, information uh, some people with pecan pie uh, they will turn start on a higher heat like 425 and then bake it for 10 minutes like that and then reduce the heat to 350. I don't usually do that with mine. You certainly can. I just start with 350 and leave it there. Um, also, just as an FYI, I always bake my pie on the bottom rack. If you have it more towards the center of your oven, you run the risk of your crust becoming too brown and your bottom not done enough. So whenever I'm making pie, I always put them on the bottom rack but that can also vary from oven to oven so just kind of know your oven and what works for you but um, usually that is the case you usually want your pie lower in the oven um, so that your crust on top doesn't brown faster than the bottom of it is cooking so um, just a couple tips there 
our pie is in the oven. It looks amazing. And I think you guys are really going to like this formula for having pecan pie in a jar. And another thing where pecan pie is concerned, um, we want it to, to tell when it's done. You want it to be loose in the middle, but not jiggly. And when you lightly touch it in the center, it should want to spring back a little bit when it is done. So I know it can be kind of tricky to tell when it's done, but that's kind of how I tell. So also if your crust is getting too brown, you're gonna wanna use a pie ring or cover your edges with foil if they start browning more than your pie is done. So just a couple things there. Okay guys, we are back. I baked my pie for about 65 minutes and um, now it's starting to cool some. Um, I did mention that you want to test it for doneness. It should be um, loose in the center. See how there's still movement, but it's not super jiggly. So that's what you're looking for. Another way to test it is it should read um, 200 degrees. If you insert an instant read thermometer in the center of your pie, it should read 200 degrees, and that means that it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it cool for a couple of hours. A pecan pie should really be completely cool before you cut into it. So I'm gonna let mine cool, and when I bring you back, I'm gonna show you how delicious it is. Okay guys, we are all done. I've let my pie sit for almost two hours. It's still kind of warm on the bottom, but I think it's cool enough that we can see how we did. So let's get a piece out of here. I did an all butter crust and it's so flaky. How good does that look? It's set up beautifully. I have a nice amount of filling in there. Mm -mm. The pecans um, got nice and toasty on top. Mm. Still nice and warm. The one thing I will say, I don't think it's quite as sweet as traditional pecan pie. I don't think that that's a bad thing, but it is extremely delicious. It's so good, you guys. I hope that you will give it a try. How cool is that to have pecan pie in a jar? So easy to do, and like I said, that's a great way to have the different um, amounts of pie that you want. If you want the, if you want a thicker more of a deep dish pie, you can do the three jars. If you want a, a smaller, regular pie, do the two jars. And if you want the baby pie, you can do just one jar. I did wanna mention that when you go down to the smaller pies, you can, if you wanna add another egg, it's not gonna hurt anything to do that. And if you wanna tweak it a little bit as you're putting your pie together, if you wanna add more sugar, or if you wanna add more vanilla, or if you wanna tweak it, it's totally fine, but you have the base of your pie in your jar. And I think that that's fantastic. So I hope that you guys will give this a try. I'm glad that you came along with me today. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them for me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.